one of the most essential skills for any producer working with vocals is being able to tune vocals. So today we're tuning vocals in Logic Pro. Tuning vocals can make or break a track and Logic Pro has some powerful tools to help us to get it just right. So we're going to be using the flex pitch feature and a bit of the classic pitch correction. Let's get it. So I've got this mixer that I'm working on. It's for an amazing artist called Rhea. Links in the description. Go check her out. This track is not out yet or depending on when you're watching it, but links are in the description. So go there, click them and support. So we'll use this vocal here. I could tell my this is secret Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep it Ignore the love, the signs and never has a feeling Cause I'd never feel alone to be alone and leave him So I did everything I Okay, so there's a few notes that could be pitched up a little bit And just a little bit of tuning The vocals is, is a very good vocal Recorded well Yeah, by the time the mix is done, ready And out there, it should be sounding fire So first of all, we're going to turn on flex pitch We can do that by clicking on the little icon there, little button, or we can press command and F and that will bring out flex pitch. Right, so when I turn on flex pitch, Logic's going to do its thing. When I press play, you're going to notice the vocals is going to be out of time. That's not good. It's not what we want. And the reason why the tempo has changed is because the recordings are different tempo to the actual project. And that's why we've got that issue. So what you need to do is go to edit, tempo, and write project tempo to audio files. Once it's done, you can't change it. So we click on that. This cannot be undone. We click, and then we go to one of the flex pitch. And we're good to go. You can see it's all in time. I could tell my this is secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. Ignore the lot the signs when the red flares are beaming Cause I'd rather... Lovely, so now we can start tuning. So if you notice, once we turn on flex pitch, you have the option of just doing it straight from your edit window right here. Or you can double click on the file, go to track, and you can see it in the little window down the bottom. I don't like that because it just feels, feels too small. It's too low down in the screen. I want it at eye level. But that's just preference. So if you look at the vocals, you can see the blobs, which are different phrases. And you've got a few things that's going on here. But you've got the blob, it gives you six different options. You've got pitch drift, you've got fine pitch, you've got pitch drift, formant shift, vibrato, and gain. Now we're gonna use probably all of these, apart from formant, I really need to use formant, but I'll show you what it does. But we're going to use all of these to tune these vocals. So I'm just going to loop that section. I've got it soloed. I kept on my issue secret. But so if you look at this first blob, which it says I, it's saying to us it's not in any key. It's not on any particular note. It's in between notes. So you've got your light and your dark. These are all different notes. So if we double click on a blob, Logic's going to lock that in to that note. So let's hear it now. I kept on my issues. So you can hear the difference. I kept on my issues. Before it was I, now it's I. So we could do it that way, and that means it's gonna be it's gonna be perfect. And no one's no one sings perfect, but a lot of modern music today, the the, the vocals do sound perfect. Almost. So if we double click on those, the the Logic Pro is gonna lock into what it thinks is the correct key. But always, always listen and make sure it is sounding right. I kept on my issue secret. But so we're just going to lock these in for now. I kept on my, I kept on my issue secret. That note down the bottom there. I kept on my issue secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. Ignore so we're just going to do that little phrase up to there. There's no point in the, for the whole video. So I'm going to highlight all of those and I'm going to lock them in. Now we've still got some issues. We've still got a few issues here. You've got... <laughs> so you've got these lines that run through the note. I'm just going to call them lines. I don't know what the correct terminology is. If you do know, just drop it in the comments. We're always learning. So the lines, what they are, they, they're the pitch of the note. So you can see that the pitch of the note is drifting down to the next note. 
So that potentially could be two different notes sang in one word, which is why it's giving us that curve. So if I get my slice tool, which is T and I, and I, and I click just where the curve is going, you notice that the note has dropped down two semitones, we'll say. I kept on my issues. And that will help it to sound a lot smoother. So the line down here means that it's quite flat because it's jumping from one note to the next. You can go through and slice to our heart's content. You can do that, or we can use the pitch drift if it's too sharp. So here the pitch drift is a bit high. It's a bit sharp. So we can drop the pitch drift a little bit. So it's roughly around the middle of the note. We can also use vibrato if there's too much vibrato. I don't see much vibrato used in this vocal phrase here. So yeah, we might not need to use that. But we can use vibrato to flatten up a note and get it sounding a bit more robotic, giving it giving us that auto tune sound. I got on my issue secret. I got on my issue. I is a bit sharp there. So we can double click on that. And that's going to drop down a semitone, which will, should make it a bit more smoother. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see. I got on my issue secret. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut just there on that note, double click and see what that gives us. I got on my issue secret. So issue secret is a bit sharp there. So when I slice that, logic saying it needs to be on the next note. I could slice that again. Uh, maybe I sliced it in the wrong place, so we try. Yeah. And you see that note, that blob is jumped up, which should make it sound more smoother. I got on my issue secret. Now, if you don't want to go through and slicing up, slicing and dicing, you can just use vibrato and make it more smooth. So the, the line is running through the blob as much as possible, as natural sounding as possible. I got on my issue secret. We can use the pitch drift. So when I bring the pitch drift all the way down, you can hear how it sounds. I got on my issue secret. Yeah, you notice how it's sounding, issue secret. I got on my issue secret. Let's bring it all the way up. I got on my issue secret. Now, you have to listen to the vocals. She's got that, them nuances, the nuances, nuances, where that's how she is as a singer. And I don't want to go in there and move all those nuances because that's her. So don't over process it, don't over tweak it, but you can use that to add a bit interest into the vocal. I got on my issue secret. Pretend. Pretend sounds a bit off. Good. Pretend and not to see the pretend. Pretend and not to see the so let's just use the pitch drift here and maybe let's just use the uh, vibrato and a bit of pitch drift. I got on my issue secret. Pretend and not to see the and we can, like I said earlier, you can just chop where it looks a bit unruly and get it on the right note because it's jumping the blobs are jumping from one note to the next that's why the line is here going all the way up to that note so we click on that that blobs drop down to there and not to see the wrong so i could see and not to see the wrong so i so c is a little bit sharp so we can bring that down a touch Maybe another slice in there. Yep. And and not to see the wrong so I could see. Mm, still sounds a bit flat. Tend not to see the wrong so I could. Not to see the wrong, so I could. It's a bit too, it was a bit too high. 
The note was a bit too high. So I'm just going to slice that note there and that's going to bump up. And I could use a bit of pitch drift just to sort the vibrato. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I could pretend not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I could so I could keep him. 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 Either wrong, so I could keep him. I could either wrong, so I could keep him. I could either wrong, so I could keep him. I either wrong, so I could keep him. I could either wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell my issue secret. Pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. I mm, sounds a bit off. See the wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell my yeah, that's the one. So wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell my so when you're doing when you're tuning your vocals, you'll notice that certain notes will land on the same certain words will land on the same notes because it's a melody. It's a polyphonic melody, which means it's a single note. I could tell my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell that's a bit sharp there. Wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell my issue secret, pretending. So going back to the six different notes, we've got your gain, which is a, an amazing tool on leveling your vocals. I've done a whole video of that showing how you can just use this flex pitch to level your vocals without having to use a compressor. So there might be a phrase in there that's a little bit quieter than this. A little bit quieter than the others. I could tell my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. I could tell. So let's say we are gonna make that note a little bit louder. I could keep him. I could tell. My I could keep him. I could tell. I could keep him. I could tell. My so with Fullman, if you want to get a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? If you want to get a little bit creative with your vocals, you can use a Fullman. Oof, that's nice. I do like Fullman. So let's just take the Fullman of all that little phrase there and bring it down. Amazing. So you can use it to create different vocal pitches. Like if you wanted to do chords, harmonies, stuff like that, then you can use the Fullman. How cool does that sound? I got on my issue secret. But so we've got the vocals to a nice point, sounding tuned, sounding better than it did before. So the original vocals are. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. And then, and then the tune vocals. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see the. Okay, let me just put it through the same bus. So. It's fair. So this is the original vocals. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. I got him especially. You can hear him. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep him. I got on my nice. So now we've got the vocals tuned to a nice where we kind of want it to be. We can top it up with a little bit of pitch correction. So you need to know the key of the song. So the, a good way for finding a key for your song is to use auto key. And if you don't have auto key, I'd say get it, definitely get it, because it's worth it. You can drop the beat into different websites and find the key that way. I'm just going to play this through. Let auto key find the key of the song. So I did everything I could to compromise. All right, cool. So it's telling us it's C major. So I'm just going to choose a root note as C and then scale chord as the major scale. Turn off all OK and go back to where we was. So our main vocal. I got on my issue secret, pretending not to see the wrong. So Turn I on pitch correction. 
I kept all my issues secret, pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I kept all my issues secret, pretending not to see the wrong so I could see, keep him. See, now that's too much. I pulled the response down to zero and the tolerance all the way down as well. And you can hear that it just sounds too robotic. So I'm going to find a sweet spot. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I kept all my issues secret. Pretend so around there, sounds nice and smooth. Doesn't sound too wobbly, like all over the place. And um, we can use some detune. Show what the detune does to the vocal. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. So it, it would detune the vocal would make it sound a bit more moody on the left, I would say, and a bit more bright and happy on the right side. And let's just hear how it sounds with the mix. I kept all my issues secret. Pretending not to see the wrong so I could keep him. I, I kept all my issues secret. Not to see the wrong, so I could see that doesn't sound right. Let's have a little bit. I got some malicious secret. Pretending not to see the wrong, so I could keep it. I got some malicious secret. Pretending not to see the wrong. So that's how you tune vocals in Logic Pro using the Flex Pitch feature and a little bit of pitch correction. You don't have to use Flex Pitch, you can, can just drop pitch correction straight onto your vocal and tune it that way. But you might run into a few issues where, like I showed you, the vocals or a word's being said and that's on two different notes. That's how you're going to get that wobble effect. And if that's the effect you're going for, then just run with it. So I hope you got something from this video and I will see you in the next one.